Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. But what is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. That an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Ah, Captain Kenway. Should we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? At first, you have the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. And using this man, we'll acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea. If you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. We're chasing drams of blood. Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the letter, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood files intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to, I. Blue up, short and sail. Loose the stunts. the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? We'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal that flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. By all means, try. Que Deus o guarde e proteja, senhor! Como se encontra nesta noite tão formosa? E bem, bem, obrigado. É, só de quero passeio por entre a frota, para ver se estão todos em bom lado. Está tudo em ordem, por aí do Sim, senhor. Tudo em ordem, senhor. Estamos apenas à espera que o nosso navio almirante seja reabastecido antes de zarpar. Ah! E julgo que um dos nossos navios mercantes da nossa frota necessita de um novo mágico. Há homens em terra neste momento em busca de uma árvore que sirva tal propósito. Vem aí, mercador. Está bom? Não. Quantos trucos será? Compõem a maior parte da nossa frota, senhor. Dos nossos 42 navios, diria que mais de dois terços são embarcações mercantis. Ah, o rumo continuado. Este caso não devido que esteja com o Sim, senhor, exatamente. Daí as nossas precauções. Com tantos piratas nestas águas, esta frota necessita de bastante proteção. Não é uma tarefa leve guardar quase três dúzias de navios. Imagino que não. Peço perdão, senhor, mas não estou a conhecer o seu navio. Nem sequer transporta a bandeira do rei. Ah, sim, foi. Falando de piratas, por isso foi tirar o pano do navio que já havia. Ainda não tivemos a oportunidade para o parar. Ah! Excelente trabalho, senhor! Muito bem! Obrigado, meus homens. Eu devia deixar de ajudar os vossos bebês. Também sou necessário que é o pai. 
Assim faremos, senhor. Obrigado, senhor. Ah, perdão, senhor. Já devia ter perguntado antes. Mas temos um saco de cartas endereçadas a Salvador e São Paulo. Por acaso vai dirigir-se para Sul em breve? Oh, não. Pelo menos não. Pelo menos. Tem falar consigo, jovem. Entregue os meus cumprimentos ao seu capitão. Certo, senhor. Ele de momento está a dormir. Vai lamentar não ter tido a oportunidade para falar consigo. É uma pena. Até a próxima. E que Deus nos abençoe. Got the flag. Aye, and we're flying it now. This should do nicely. I'll keep my distance, slow and steady. Aye, the flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that pry too long. Por favor, senhor, implore que considere que ele está prestes a fazer. Now é possível. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging. He's a static. something from that ship could that be our prize perhaps you should go ashore captain kenway find that chest and if it contains the prize i seek we'll tell this lot where a ship right now o nosso almirante. Cá para mim, era uma traição. Sim, ouvi dizer que se chamava Torres. Tempos estranhos estes em que um espanhol pode andar a passear pelo confés de um dos nossos vasos de guerra. Despeça os quantos homens e remem até aquele brigo. Eles dizem que foram atacados pela peste.
chest they hauled ashore was full of empty vials. Where's our Portuguese captain? He had outlived his usefulness. Where is he? Sleeping soundly at the bottom of the sea. How many men must we kill for a simple prize? As many as drift into our path. Two up, short and sail. Furl all sails. Loose the mains. Loose the stunts. treasure must be aboard that galleon. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, that's the way I play it. I can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Está a fazer o tour nesta noite? Ou foste tu?
We've been spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. Can you feel it, Addy? We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favorite. Think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? 
Can you say with certainty that you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget working with robots. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Uh. As much sail as you can! We'll have a hard fight if Hornigal draws us any deeper into this fog. We're nearing the Devil's Backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, Spaniards call it. Get on that main seat! Trim to! All sail! She'll take it! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Surely we are nearing our goal. Down's all but me! Trim us off the wind! Oh. Get the main screen! Oh. Loose tops and royals! Close.
this bastard and I've seen what he can do he'll be after me sure as I'm standing here hold your ground and be ready for anything Could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. Campsite better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor. 
who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated! No! These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. Ah. Ah. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. native to this land will put up the fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary, huh? To kill if needed.
Stay close.
Fall in. Is this the observatory? All this. Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. 
I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. It's like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evil. Here we are. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham, somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA, well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. Aye. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my lass you're making love to! You lay off, or I'll catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger, that's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. 
Oh, such ambition. <laughs> There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Robert. Jackdaws flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? So 
so get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, oh, they decide elections, they control various capital markets, and they inject us with little microchips to track our movements and read our thoughts. It's all very scary. All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Myself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hackers broke in. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay? Alright. I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network logs. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, We'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out.